So how do you do this well? One of the practices I've had um, has been, if you're going and going and going and going, I guess say like you've been doing all this all the way throughout July and you're just, oh, first of all, it's my holiday. I'm gonna stop on the 31st. That's not good for you. Your, bro your body, your brain are still engaged. It will take you a couple of days. It might even take you a week or two, depending on who you are, to completely switch off. So one thing we've been working with my clients on is how can you actually reduce your workload as you're heading towards your holiday. So look at it that way. You're just going down and down and down and down. So by the time I get to the first of July, my brain has just had a chance to just settle. It's had a chance to come down. It's had a chance to start to decompress and detach from work. When you do that, you arrive on the 1st of August a lot more alive, ready to go, ready to just switch off completely. You're not thinking about work. It is hard to do, especially the first couple of times you do it. Now, some of my clients have cheat codes because they have um, amazing EAs who can help them with their schedules and help them with their plans. Some of them is around prioritization. Actually, you know what? We're going to have fewer meetings. Yes, there might be some meetings that we need to have for legal reasons and some that are super important. But I didn't all these different things, are they really that important? No. So I can reduce them. I can shift them to the first earlier part of July and then have a ramp down. It is possible. Done this with CEOs of ridiculous companies. Um, done this with um, a startup founder who ended up selling this company for a couple of billion. All the way down. I've done this myself. July, I've been very intentional with my workload, with what kind with who I'm seeing, what I'm doing, to ensure that I'm in a better space and mindset. Because I'm taking July. I'm taking August off. Switching off. Spending time with my family. Spending time with myself. And switching off. I didn't want to arrive at August in the mindset of all the different work I had to do. So intentionally I model that in um, July for me. I practice what I preach. I can't be out there having these conversations, um, coaching clients, working with teams around reducing burnout in your organization, um, around modeling the right behavior. And I'm not practicing when I preach it. That's not authentic to me. So therefore I am doing this. I recognize again, the struggles that come with it. And in fact, let me share another struggle that come with it, especially as um, an entrepreneur. One of the things I asked myself was, you're going away in August. You can schedule a lot of posts so people still see stuff from you and all the content and stuff is there. I went back and forth like, I could do that, but who am I doing it for? If I go ghost for a month and you don't hear from me for a month and I don't see any social content from me for a month, so what? If I come back and people have got man and they forgot about me, that's on that. So these are questions I ask myself. I'm not saying that's what you need to do. Everyone's completely different. But I know I have my own reasons. I'm choosing to go down that route because I don't, I recognize I don't want to be addicted to social media. I don't want to be addicted to feeling the need that I have to show up. So who? For what? For why? Therefore, I'm taking a very different route and it means something different to me. That's my mindset. That's my mentality. It be, could be something completely different to you. As a leader, it might be that I literally disconnect. I delete the apps of my fault. I do not want to have any contact whatsoever. For some of you, that might not be possible, but I can put codes on there so I'm not going in there to check because your thumbs are a bit itchy and you want to see what's going on. It could be I have specific rules I leave with people where unless there's a particular level of escalation, do not contact me. Everyone is different. And I work with my clients and what suits them and their needs and their, that's unique for them. But we have those conversations. Ask yourself, are you addicted to doing? Are you so used to just going and going and going? Stopping feels so far into you.